AIC is not just an Islamic college, it's a Chicago institution. It sees itself as part of the fabric of the larger community here in the Chicagoland area. And I do believe by opening its doors to its neighbors, to citizens at large, for events and for lecture series and conferences, etc., it will play a very significant and critical role in bridging the gap between uh, Muslim Americans and their neighbors and to move forward in the future to build on a common culture of values, higher values that we all share. I want a balanced learning environment and something that really prepares me for the real world. I want to learn trade and I want to learn skills, but I also need to understand things from you know, a more dynamic perspective. There's really no good venue for um, an Islamically based liberal college and um, dialogue venue. A big part of that, of what a college can do for me, is not only teach me about, you know, I guess just book things and that, but also the underlying concepts of what it means to interact with people across, you know, across borders and things like that. People who you aren't familiar with and cultures that you're not familiar with and really gain insight into that. Definitely as a Muslim college-age student, um, the prospect of being able to attend a liberal arts college that, that functions under um, an Islamic idea um, is really exciting and I think would, would be just such a meeting point and a, a great venue um, for Muslim and non-Muslim students. There are many Islamic institutions in the United States. There are many cultural centers and mosques, but the AIC is unique. It's the first Islamic university in the United States. That I hope that the American Islamic College now will be able to do something new, to realize those hopes, those great hopes with which it was founded, and really create the, kinds of, the kind of college and imam training institute uh, where people can go deep in their own faith, but then also uh, learn then how to flourish, how to serve. I do think it's exciting. I remember when it was uh, opened uh, again and there, was, there were banners all over near the area and they were inviting actually their neighbors in. And I, what I find incredibly exciting about that is uh, the neighbors wanted to come and join them. And so you're learning about the interfaith garden that was planted there. Uh, it's not just about academics necessarily or these really important conferences, but also about creating relationships through uh, connecting together over preserving the environment. I love the fact that there's so many people from different traditions here. So I think this is the solution, is people coming together from across all sorts of uh, backgrounds and uh, working together on a project. Its impact goes both ways, educating the American Muslim community about Muslims worldwide, but also educating fellow Americans and world citizens about Islam both in the United States and globally. Students and scholars uh, from different faith groups come to the AIC. Uh, where they can meet and they can study and they can discuss issues of importance to our community, to the community at large, to our cities and nations. Uh, so, and we can have serious uh, discussion and uh, um, uh, output coming from AIC. This year we've been working very diligently to become accredited with the Illinois Board of Higher Education. Uh, we've submitted our application in January of 2011 and we hope to be hearing back very soon um, and achieving our operating authority, which means that we can offer classes for credit for students. We have just completed one full year of academic courses in Islamic studies, Quranic studies, Hadith and Sira, art courses such as Ebru, which is a Turkish art form of water marbling, and Arabic calligraphy. You know, it's a symbol to the world that there can be interfaith dialogue and there can be this coexistence of culture and religion. And that's especially, you know, important for the shrinking, you know, the shrinking globe. Being able to achieve a, a liberal arts degree um, or a bachelor's degree just like any other college um, under, you know, a more Islamic umbrella would be a really neat thing. In all of our communities, a college that is as well located 
and endowed and as beautiful as this one is, we really have an obligation uh, to stand by Dr. Ali Yurtseva and his team and to uh, take advantage of this great blessing that has been given us and to bring it to fruition ta'ala. That this institution can do great things, not only for the Muslim community in Chicago and beyond, uh, but also for the country as a whole. AIC is not just an Islamic college, it's a Chicago institution. It is very much part of the fabric of Chicago. It sees itself as part of the larger community and so it extends itself out to its neighbors, to its friends, it invites uh, the public at large for, for events and opportunities. And I do believe that it will play a very important role in terms of the future of Muslim-American relations in Chicago and in the United States.